Zena, Warthog Princess, and welcome to my latest haul video. This haul is a combination of the online outlet sale and the recent 25% off retail sale and the buy one get one free flip flop sale, which was on National Flip Flop Day a couple Fridays back. Or I guess it was last week. Anyway, that day I bought six pairs, which we'll get to in a second. But here comes the haul. So the first item I got, and, and this is in no particular order, just the order that they're stacked, is two iconic luggage tags in Indio. And if you did watch the unboxing of this haul, I, for whatever reason, kept misspeaking in the beginning. I was calling it Indigo. I don't know why, I didn't even realize I did it until I watched the video, but it is Indio, there is no G in there. So, for what that's worth, two Indio luggage tags, not for backpacks this time, shocker. I actually got them for my new weekenders, which we'll get to. All right, next item is the Iconic Clamshell Cosmetic. This is in classic navy, but it's the velvety soft one. This is my second of these, or actually, I think this is my third. Anyway, I bought a couple because I love this shape and size, and sometimes you wanna have more than one little cosmetic in your bag at a time. Um, and by feel, you can tell what's in it, for me anyway. And so I got a couple extras. Plus I just love, love, love them. It's a great, great interior as well. So I got another one of those. I have to check my inventory, but anyway. I also got one in Holiday Owls and I left this in the wrapper because I actually got this as a gift for someone. I do have this in another form, if you will, this exact same thing, but I bought it as part of the four piece travel cosmetic. So I already have one of these as well and I don't need that many of them. So I will give this to a friend for her birthday coming up. Next item is the Large Zip or Cosmetic. This is in Classic Navy. It is an older style one. It's not the iconic one, so you notice there's no pocket on the front. It does have the um, microfiber zipper pull. Inside is the Moon Blooms with the clear plastic. And there you go. Hi, Kelly. Come on. Yeah, Kelly. She's patrolling the neighborhood. Um, next item is the packable tote. And this is in Romantic Paisley. I got this because I think this is something that you can just keep in your vehicle. And then you always just have a tote for that off thing that you need, uh, groceries or whatnot. And I think it's gonna be great for my upcoming trip. So that'll be fun to see how that works out. The next thing is flip-flops. <clears throat> and in case you didn't watch the unboxing, I did buy six pairs, which sounds crazy, except I live in Arizona. I basically live in flip-flops all year round. Um, these are not great, in my opinion. They're not great for long-term wear or use um, because they are just flat. There's no support to them. Um, but they are perfect for around the house or just bopping out to get the mail or little things like that. So I did get some more. I have a total of 10 pairs now, and interestingly enough, I have matching beach towels for nine of the 10. Alibi though, two pairs are Fireworks Paisley, so it's actually only one towel, but anyway. So these were buy one, get one free, and they were part of the 25% off sale. So it's 25% off and then buy one, get one free. So for not very much, I got six pairs of flip flops. So it was worth it. First pair is the uh, stitched garden, which goes with the stitched flowers. Really pretty multicolor floral pattern. They are light, but I think that that'll be fine. Um, these are in the order that the patterns came out, or I, I think. Next one is Daisy Paisley. You'll also notice the trend if you think my other flip flops are Cuban Tiles, Go Fish Teal, Mini Medallion, and the Solid Soul Fireworks Paisley. So the teals and blues are very prevalent in my footwear collection from Vera. Next one is Kaleidoscope Rosettes. I do think that's a fun, pretty, very feminine pattern. And I don't have a lot of pink, so I'm gonna give that a whirl. Speaking of pink, we got Tossed Posies, also very pretty. Of note, this was the, well, this Pretty Posies, Tossed Posies, was the breast cancer pattern this year. So very nice way to support the program without even donating directly to it. So I always think about that and I'll buy an extra piece or two just because it's a good cause. And next one, Fireworks Paisley. 
As I mentioned, I do already have the solid sole flip-flops in Fireworks Paisley, but they aren't a perfect fit. And they are plain blue. I mean, they have the red, white, and blue on top, but anyway, I wanted the red, white, and blue in its entirety, so I went ahead and got the full pair. Plus, it made it an even number to make six pairs. So, that was important. And then we got the Firefly Garden, which if you've been watching any of my videos, you know I'm in love with the colors and these patterns, Moonlight and Firefly Garden. So those are all really pretty additions to the footwear collection. On that day, there was also an event, and I don't live near a Vera store. My nearest Vera store is two and a half hours away for the retail and two hours away for the outlet. So I don't get up there often at all. In fact, when I do my shopping, I usually figure it out online, put it in my shopping bag, and then unless there's a better deal that's online only or a coupon that's online only, then I actually call in my order to a store. So I get that sort of bond and customer service and relationship with them and they can help me with pattern placements and things like that. So to me, that's very much worth it because um, I'm a loyalist and, and it makes it funner for me. It's part of the experience. So anyway, I did do two orders. It wasn't my initial intent, but after I had placed the first order, I realized I really just could not restrain myself and I needed to get some more things in the fireworks paisley and a couple blankets. Anyway, so I ordered, but they had an in-store event that day at, at all the locations and I was able to get the little knapsack they gave away free with purchase on that day. So. I don't feel guilty about it at all, even though I wasn't there in person, because I certainly spent enough money to, to warrant it. But anyway, black and white, and then the exact same in pink and white. So lovely little knapsacks. Um, they do say that their retail value is $35, drawstring, back sack. Just for reference. Okay, that is a nice pink color, wow. That might end up going on my cruise with me, we'll see. Ah. Okay, next item. Um, shout out to Diane in Wabatosa, Wisconsin at the Vera Bradley at the Mayfair Mall. Um, we were talking about this turtle bag charm with the mirror and she was saying that she was going to get one too and they only had two left but she was trying to decide between two different names. Well, I told her I would keep the name that she didn't take and so Fred it is. Meet Fred. Fred my turtle. My mirror turtle. Bag charm. So funny little thing there. And hi, Diane. All right, next item is, it's an ultimate wristlet. And I wanna say it's wavy navy or something like that. But it's just a blue and white swirl pattern. I have one item in this pattern. It's years and years ago. I bought a travel bag, but I do love the ultimate wristlets. And this is a nice addition to that. Plus with my navies, this will go very well. So I'm happy to add that to the set. All right. Next items, I like the all-in-one crossbodies. If you saw the video, you'll kind of know what I already had in stock. So I ended up getting three more of them because I didn't have any of the retail side lighten up ones. So I got two. I got the Splash Dot and I got the Dream Diamonds. And so those are great. I will definitely get use out of them. And one of these is pretty high likelihood of going on my trip with me. Possibly this one in cotton. I don't know, probably lighten up though. If you're not aware, by the way, Indio, the interior pattern, which you're not gonna see on this item, I don't think. Yeah, no. The interior pattern for Indio is the splash dot. So that's interesting. Inside of splash dot is solid, not dark blue, which I would have thought dark blue. I have nothing against the lighter and it does kind of bring in the, the lighter blues in the pattern, but. Anyways, it's a light blue, so there you go. The trickle down pattern relationship. And like I said, Dream Diamonds, which I wanna set this aside because I think something else later matches it and we'll talk about that. All right, so the next two items are throws. I got the Moonlight Garden. I just love these colors. I mean, look at how distinct the colors stand out on this blanket. And of course it's super soft. If you know much about the blankets, some seasons they come out and just the fabrication is a little softer or less soft. They're all basically the same, but I will say that this is one of the, the soft soft. Um, so both this one and the Fireworks Paisley are quite soft. And I just think that these colors 
really pop on this. They really, really stand out. They're very good choices on the colors. All right, speaking of fireworks, Paisley, here is the Lunch Bunch, which I just use as like a cosmetic or supplemental travel organizer. And then the iconic Diddy Bag. If you're not familiar, this is the retail side style. It does have the two handles tied at the bottom. They're sewn in. So it's kind of like a little mini knapsack, I guess. You could use it like that, which is nifty. The only thing I really, really don't like about this is the inside is not actually sewn in. It's just loose in there. But they still work. They work great. And for red, white, and blue, it was worth it anyway. Although, wow, this really smells like vinyl. Anyway, next item is the Carson Hobo in Indio. This is a big, nice big slouch bag. It has a side pocket, and as you can see, there's your splash dot, just like I said. And inside as well, you can really see that pattern. And it does go very nicely. Hello, one thing of note, just total little detail thing. But if you look at the splash dot in the bag, it's kind of just got this like white mostly, but no real blue hue to it. But if you look at the actual lighten up pattern of it, it has other shades of blue like in the dots, kind of like a water art or paint flicked at it. But anyway, so that's interesting. I didn't notice that before. But then again, I didn't have any Indio or splash dots until today. Um, okay, so this is why I set this aside because this is the iconic small Vera tote in Gloxinia Purple. And I wanted to get just a couple items, so I got the RFID card case as well. That's really all I got. But the reason I got them is because I thought it matches a lot of my patterns that I already have, and it would kind of bridge the collection. So you can see that it matches very, very nicely with the Dream Diamonds. And it also matches quite nicely or decently with the Resort Medallion. For that matter, it matches a little bit with the painted medallions, although that wouldn't be my preference. It also matches with the Petite Garden in the VBU line. It also matches with Lilac Medallion and with the Bramble pattern. So I feel like I'm, I might have screwed up by not getting more Gloxinia, but the good news is it's still out there. So I will probably acquire a few more pieces just to, again, complete the bridge. But I do love purple, so can't go wrong with that. Excellent. So we got all these wallets piling up over here. Since we already started talking about it, we've got these little coin purses. This is, oh gosh, it's pink. I've forgotten the name of the pink. But it is a breast cancer pattern as well. I didn't know they did breast cancer solids, but it did come with a pink tag and had the Breast Cancer Foundation information on it. Um, but it is a beautiful pink, and the inside is the flowery with the dots inside that matches the outside. So, nice little coin purse. It does also have that little elastic for your, whatever you wanna use it for. You can use it as a little mini wallet. And it too matches the pinks. You can't see very well in the video, but Matches the pinks in the VBU Petite Garden. I don't think it matches this, but that doesn't matter. I'll never go together. Does match the other coin purse. But this is what I was talking about on the unboxing, if you saw that. The coin purses. So this is a regular coin purse. Newer style. It's a slightly smaller than the old school style, but it is retail side, as is this retail side. This is the iconic version. So big differences right off the bat is regular diamonding, micro diamond stitching. The size is very close to the same size. The older one is just slightly taller and ever so slightly wider, so there you go. Um, Depth-wise though, the iconic one is thicker, so there is that difference. Um, zipper pulls, you've got faux leather tab versus faux leather loop. Eh, you're not there on that. And then the newer one has the zipper that comes around the corner just slightly, which does open it up a little bit more so that you're able to get into the slip pockets and stuff a little bit easier. So those are the big differences. And 
standard outlet version has the slip on the outside and the faux leather tab. Ah. So those are all fun. Oh, yeah, those two match as well, ish. Okay, so this can go over here now. Next item is in fact the VBU tote. It is a nice material, it, it's a cotton. It's very similar to the regular. For some reason to me, it just feels a little different and it might just be me or you know, I just, cottons change a little bit, I don't know. This is like a canvas style um, woven strap and it does have the denim as piping along the edges of it. it has a little tab here. I don't know if that's faux leather or leather, but nice little Vera Bradley tab. The zippers are metal, but they're the smooth, nice metal, not the rough ones that we all hate. The other cool thing, the reason I got this bag, is a little bit different strap drop, but I think it fits very nicely on your shoulder and doesn't hang way down or fall off all the time, so that's nice. But also it has a shoulder strap, or you could use a crossbody for that matter. Nice shoulder strap, so that was why I got that. Slip pocket on the back, zip on the front, inside it's two slips on the front and a big zipper in the back but very simple bag i just like the feel of it i do think it's a little big to be a purse but it might be one day when you have a lot of crap to carry around could work next thing i got is the fireworks paisley y'all know red white and blue i just my heart so i got the tote the cooler tote and the drawstring family tote because these are just classic. They'll never go out of style, in my opinion. Red, white, and blue, through and through. And there's the drawstring family tote. I think this pattern looks really nice and crisp on the lighten ups. I mean, it looks fine on the cotton, but I just think it looks really good. It pops very nicely. And because of the durability of these and the water resistance, I'm really glad that I grabbed them because they'll be very useful. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, the last set of things that I got is I got four new Weekenders. Now, I don't need a Weekender, but I did, I needed it. Because these are different. Um, the first one is in Fireworks Paisley. It's a regular iconic Weekender, so it has the rolled strap. It has the, or sorry, handle, not strap. It has the yucky metal zipper pull, but the rest is pretty standard Weekender stuff. The newer ones, I don't think the old ones that I have has this pocket. We will do a video later to compare all the weekenders, but just a couple highlights today. This one on the back, it does have the trolley sleeve. It does not have a zipper across the bottom, so it is strictly a sleeve with the two slips on the side. So that's that one, the iconic weekender travel bag. The next two are lighten ups. And I did notice unpacking them, there's a couple of differences. The first one here is in splash dot, and the inside, just like with the um, all-in-one, is in fact that light blue color. This one has that awful metal zipper in the vertical, um, but interestingly enough, the other lighten up I got in Dream Diamonds, it actually has a nice color coordinated zipper. They're just so much smoother. I mean, look at that. That's, you can get in there, it doesn't scratch your hand. Very useful pocket when you can use it. In contrast, this one, okay, not bad example, it just worked great, but this one is working quite well, I, I give it that. <laughs> great example. Um, but it's, it is scratchier. Anyway, y'all know what I think about these zippers. And I do like this better, so I hope they get away from these entirely. Hi Kelly, are you helping? Um, okay, so what I like about this bag, one, is it has this nice longer strap drop. So when you're carrying a big heavy bag, it just gives you a little bit more play with how you carry it on your shoulder. It does have a shoulder or crossbody strap. I do not like that it has plastic fittings. I, in my entire life, have had horrible, horrible experience with these plastic fittings because they always break on me, always. 100% of the bags I've had have broken. And I didn't want that. I didn't want to pay all that money for a beautiful Vera bag that I love and I fall in, in, in lust with it because it's my favorite bag and then have it break and not be able to use it the way I need to. So I, I stayed away, but they were a good deal on the online outlet, so I went ahead and got them anyways, two of them. And I'm a little nervous about it, but I'll be careful with them and we'll see what happens. And maybe there's some kind of super high speed, magical, unbreakable plastic. 
one can help. But I don't know why on the regular ones they have metal and why would you be dumb enough to put plastic on another that's the same size and weight. It's not just about the look, it's about the function to me. That's very important. All right, other note of difference on these lighten up versions, and this is why I was just aching to get one despite my distaste for the plastic fittings is it does have this zipper on the bottom of the trolley sleeve. So when you're not using it, it gives you a third slip on the back. So it's a nice little feature. I like versatility, I like options, and I like being able to make choices that work for me at any given time. Um, the other nifty thing about this bag, without going all the way into all the details, is this little corner right here. And if you're not familiar, this is nifty. It's an extra little pocket on the corner here. Not quite hidden, but if you don't know it's there, it's kind of a little hidden. And it's deep, it goes all the way down to about right here. But you can put your phone or your passport, or like your, um, I think, let's see. Yeah, I think your boarding passes will fit in there without even having to fold them. So nice quick access pocket if you're using this as a carry-on. Just a thought. But I do like, like I said, the navies and whites and I've been building that collection up. So I finally pulled the trigger and got some splash dot and Indio to go with it. So that's what that's all about. So there's one and of course, we already discussed this one. It has the same features as the other. Yeah, stop licking my elbow, come on. Yes, my little one. Ah, no licky licky. You already had dinner. Okay, and the last item in this haul is the iconic deluxe weekender travel bag in Indio. Um, again, we'll do the weekender thing in detail later, but key things on this is the stitching. Look at the stitching. It's vertical stitching instead of the diamonds. Um, these are, I think, $30 more in cost. And the other big difference is, oh, besides that scent seat, it has that longer strap drop, which again, I find a little bit more versatile for a travel bag because the rolled ones, you have a hard time putting it up over your shoulder and being able to actually hold the bag because it's this tiny little pulled way up. Anyway, it doesn't work for me. Um, this newer one has a little bit longer rolled strap drop, but not the same. Um, this one also has that secret pocket in the corner, just like the lighten ups, which is lovely. And there's your splash dot on the inside. So again, you can see why I've been building my other pieces. Same thing on the trolley sleeve with that extra zipper. So it has a really nice feel to it. It does feel different than even the Indio regular cotton. It's the same material, but somehow with a different stitching, gives it a different feel. Um, or Maybe it really is something different. I don't really know. I don't think so. But anyway, without belaboring the point, this one actually just feels softer. I'm not certain that I necessarily like that softer. It, it almost feels like, like, I don't know. I can't explain it. You just have to go down to your store and feel it because it's different. But hopefully it will be durable. Inside, of course, you have that wipeable nylon splash dots. And again, it's the white dots not the actual splash dots. Interesting. So same pattern, but not same pattern. Anyhow, this concludes this haul. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you again soon. Take care. Bye for now.